Lung transplantation is a fascinating option for patients who are suffering from end-stage lung disease. And I would say especially patients who have these diseases, they are suffering enormously because getting no oxygen, uh, being unable to breathe adequately is extremely painful for these patients. So it's a fantastic tool that is out there. And the quality of life that the people can achieve with that is really uh, a very good one uh, nowadays. Um, the technical steps have been solved over the years uh, in a very, very good way. So the, uh, the interoperative problems, I would say, uh, they are never solved completely, but they are uh, handled in a way now which is very satisfying. There are more lung transplantations performed in the world now than heart transplantations, uh, just as an example. I would say uh, transplanting a lung certainly is a technically dem uh, demanding procedure. But uh, once you uh, are used to it, when you do this at a higher uh, uh, range and very frequently, it becomes really a standard procedure. Our department in Vienna is doing every year between 100 and 120 lung transplantations. So it's extremely well established. And in that way, uh, the technical difficulties um, are rather easy to, to be overcome. In the post-operative uh, uh, treatment of the patients, lung transplantation is more, much more tricky than other organs. Um, you have to imagine the lung is directly connected to the open air. There are many possibilities for infection for that. So you have to balance the immunosuppression level uh, in a very, very precise way, not to over-immunosuppress your patients. On the other hand, lungs are pretty immunological active organs. So you have to run a decent level of immunosuppression. It's all about the balance and to find the right balance for the individual patient. And this is the challenge when you're treating lung transplant patients. My personal connection with uh, Hungary, or in particular with the Semmelweis University and the Hungarian patients, I would say is a very intensive and deep one. Um, we have been transplanting Hungarian patients in Vienna since the year uh, 1995. So in the beginning, Hungarian patients were transplanted in Vienna. And later on in the last years, we have um, helped our colleagues here in the Semmelweis University to build up their own lung transplant program in an independent way. And I can really, I have to congratulate the colleagues because they have done this in an exceptional way with very, very good results. And this is the benefit to the uh, Hungarian um, uh, patient population. I think I really would like to add that I consider it a privilege to be here at this symposium. It's a very nice uh, uh, planned symposium with very, very good high level of content. And I personally feel part of the Semmelweis University because I have the privilege to be an honorary doctor of this university, which I'm very proud of. Thank you. <laughs>